Okay, guys, how's it going? Happy Friday. Oh, here we are. Uh, it's oh, about 12.30 for me on uh, January 6th. All right, so of course, we'll look at Bitcoin. I'm going to do an update. I did be quick on uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. I'm just going to reemphasize some things I've been teaching for how long I've been doing this, almost five years. Uh, and then we'll take a, a peek over at the S&P. Look what's happening uh, as we see a lot of volatility and a big up day in the stock indexes. But sadly, we're not seeing that matched. And that used to be the case, right? Of course, we would see risk on. We'd have a kick in Bitcoin, but where Bitcoin is, continues to just flatline. And I, I, while I remain bullish long term, I, I think crypto is likely to be stagnant. Uh, you know, we could we could go we could go for some time here without any substantial movement. Uh, now that I say that, so before you bail, that doesn't mean that there's not good trading in here, right? Now, see, we we pull out to oh, where have I got it? We we pull out to a weekly. Well, probably not great trading. So the 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 the, the big moves like we're, that we got used to were probably not in Bitcoin's near term future. And generally, we can well, you you can just call it a a general loss of enthusiasm, particularly amongst institutions, right? I mean, there's likely building. I'm sure it's going on behind the scenes for when uh, the bear uh, ends and the and the bull rips again. So I think they will be well positioned for that. But we could to bring back any any institutional interest. Some time is going to have to pass, would be my guess, right? So that, again, that doesn't mean that th there's not good trading in here. It just means that to be looking here and say, "Oh man, if we if we get that, if we come down to that 14, this low volume node here, man, we're going to rip from there." Okay, yeah, we, I don't. I'm not I'm disagreeing with that. It's just the length of time of that rip. First, you know, do we get down here and do, do we get a decent pivot and then we start to go, right? So, the, I mean, again, as I've been over this so many times, right? My, my, my thought is we're in some sort of a ending triangle, something like this. We come down into this pocket and I just, I highlighted it here just so you can't miss it. I mean, it's hard to miss. Low volume here. So, it, 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 markets tend to get right to the edge of them. Now, so we have a vacuum in between, which we can just look over here. See, there's very, almost no trading done here. So you can understand why we have that little low volume node. But you can certainly, if you just draw it out and we go from kind of edge to edge, if we're, if we're going to dip into it, very reasonable that we, we could drop down here to the lower edge here. You see this nice shelf we have sitting here, and that's at 12 and change. Splitting the difference, approximately 14, which is right there, off of this, the 2019 pivot. And then the upper end of the range here is we call it 16. So we, we have this nice zone here. And you can certainly understand how we might be targeting after the long, long, relentless, just lower lows, lower highs all the way down. We'd come into this area here and again, just kind of just draw it over. You can see how, well, logically, it, it, it makes sense, right? So you can understand, okay, so does that mean, okay, let's mortgage the house and get ready to rip? No, I, of course, I would never say that, but this is an area of interest. Let's just leave it at that. If we get down here, I think that's a reasonable spot to start accumulating. You know, I mean, I, I to full disclosure, right? I'm, my, my, my last buy was in low 20s, which I thought was a decent place to start accumulating. So, I mean, if you liked it in the low 20s, you're going to love it at 14. I'm not not to make light of that, but drawdown right now. It's it's got to be money you're not going to need anytime soon, right? You just you're you're buying it off of the opportunity potential, right? But the trade off is there is potentially it's just the cost of parking money there. The opportunity cost if you're not going to earn money with it. Now there's different things you could do, but for the most part, in terms of a strategic location to be allocating capital, this is well. I mean since. If, if we're going to agree that this is, this is a completed impulse, right, and that we're just correcting it here, it would make sense, right? This is about as much as I can say. It would make sense here that this would be a, a location where we would look for support, new interest to come in. Now, we, we, that said, we, we could drift here. I mean, there, um, 
where am I at here? I'm in the summer of 20 of this year. We, we, we could drift. We, we, we could go for a year. We could go sideways. So it remains to be seen. Now, having said all that, don't go, you know, throw up your arms in despair. There's plenty of trading in here. You're just going to have to approach it a little bit differently. So just, just to, you know, there's part of me that goes, God, I've been teaching this for five years. So to teach it again, it's like, oh, my God, they're so sick of seeing this. But again, it's just not. I mean, I can do this all day long, I, and, but I, I can't take the trades for you. But I can just show you that no, even in the malaise here and the crypto meltdown, right, do you think they turn the algos off? Can you not make money in here still? Well, I mean, you're going to have to probably come down to lower time frames, right? So it requires a little bit more, more of your focused attention. But again, it's, it's, I would remind you here, I'd say, I, I feel like, oh, God, he's not going to say this again. He's not going to go through that again, is he? Oh, all right. Well, here, you know, this, is, this would be a reasonable spot to start from. I mean, reasonable, right? Okay, we've got essentially a double bottom down here. Now, we, and how is that fits into the count? That's really not what I'm focused on here. You almost take the Elliott off here. So uh, what, what do I see here? Well, I get a nice series of higher highs and higher lows that take me into this pivot. So just right off the bat, if you, if you were going to start here and just look at this, this count here and say, well, God, can, can I trade in here? I'm down to a four hour, which is probably, if you're going to go from the daily and you're going to try and trade shorter term, a four hour is not a, good, not a bad place to start. I mean, we may end up on a five minute, but right here, we can look at this and say, well, okay, can you make any money here? Or is it just, you know, you look at it, you, you look at it over here and it's like, oh God, right? How can anybody make any money there? Well, that's a weekly, right? So let's come down to a four hour. I, I mean, you tell me, right? I mean, can you still make money in here? Well, okay, what's the most rudimentary tool we would use, right? If nothing else was on here, right? Now, I've got, market, I've got Sonar Labs on here for market structure. Oh, shit, we turn that off. Let's turn it off. Let's turn it all, all off. Oh, shit, I don't think I can hide all that. But, but all, all of that off, right? Here's what, the only thing you need. The only thing you need to trade. That's it. That's it. That's all you need right there. Just your fib retracement tool. And well, we'll look at a few indicators that might help with timing. But that's all you need, right? All this Elliott stuff, right? If it's not helping, don't use it, right? You don't, you don't want to stick like, oh, God. Okay, well, there's a five. So much. If it's helping, great. If it's not helping or if, they're, or if we're just essentially flatlining, which Bitcoin has been doing, right? You make a case it's been doing it here for well, the last low here is no, mid-November. I think we could do... We could do this, right? Flat line, right? So in, in once in a range, right? What do you want to do in the range, right? We want to buy the lows, sell the highs. Well, okay, but that's not all we could do because you, you could say, well, hey, we got we got different degrees of ranges. This was a range. You, you start dialing in on, well, what's the range? Well, here in a four hour, okay, can we see any potential trade opportunities here or anything that you might have looked at here and, and I'm, I'm going to get to the hard right edge i know right oh fuck oh god hindsight yeah right okay well just, just i i do this here just to show you that you can still trade here and so now i can see right so if you're, if you're new to the markets you, you might look at this and go oh okay well great oh thanks a lot now you tell me well the point is not is not to do a bunch of hindsight here that that's not the point the point is to show you that whether we're looking at again i feel like i've been saying this for so long you Half of you have already clicked away. I mean, it, it, it doesn't matter. It, again, it doesn't matter. One, daily, weekly, monthly, one minute, one second, one hour. It, it, this is how it moves. Right? I've said this a thousand times. It's not why it moves. It's how it moves. So if you were down here and say, oh, I had a double bottom, right? And that looks like I got a five here, right? So I, let's not throw the Elliott out the window. Oh, okay. Well, here, yeah, shit, I got a little five there. Oh, well, I'd be, what, what about, what? I could just look at here, Elliott 101. I got a five. Oh, kind of looks like a three. Maybe if I retrace here, I'll get rid of this. Not to, not to go into Elliott here, but hey, maybe if I retrace here, maybe there'd be, huh, well, may I, I've been reading a little bit about, about, uh, Market structure here. Man, I got an order block there. Maybe I got an order block down here. Right? Look at that. Right? So, okay, I can identify these. And if I can't identify them, well, here I can turn on Sonar Labs, although I have it in focus mode, so it's not going to go backwards. Well, I can look in here and say, okay, last down here. Did we break structure? Okay, that makes sense. Well, here, okay, last down. Oh, did we break structure? Well, there's a change of character. Ultimately, we broke structure. So I've got some, so I've got some order blocks down here. Oh, okay, this could work. Well, now, what, what's the... Okay, all of that aside... 
can I combine a few things? Can I combine the algo that we know is the dominant algo in the market? This is how it moves. It's not why it moves. It's how it moves. All right, so swing in a five, come down in a three to a golden zone in an order block. Well, I mean, is, can you... It, in the in the FTX meltdown fallout, all this. I mean, can we still trade this? Well, I mean, he, if you're going to do something like this, maybe bring in a little leverage to get a little more kick out of it because you're not anticipating you're going to get a monster rip here. But if I can just get to that target with maybe I got two, three, four, five times leverage, right? Let's not do something crazy. No, you know, fifty, a hundred x. But boy, what, what a nice setup. Well, now you look here and say, well, yeah, okay, great. Yeah, after the fact. But what about right here? This is when it matters, Sam. Fuck, you know, yeah, great. Show it to me all day long. But right there, how are you helping me there? Well, okay. Right. So I, there, there, is, there is no do this exactly and you're going to have nothing but winners. But okay, I just combined two things for you right there. Okay, well, there's, well, actually... I'm going to end up with four things here. So I'm on a four hour. So if I took, well, here, let's go to a two hour. So if I took this down to a two hour, would that, that initial five be a little easier to spot? Well, okay, maybe. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. A, B, one, two, three, four, five. See, so I got, I got, a, I got a five and a three. Huh, okay, well, that, that would, okay, spark my interest. Okay, I got a five and a three. W where do I know this algo is going to be active? Between the 50 and the, and the golden zone. Do I have an order block there? Yeah, I got an order block there. Okay, do I do I see do I see anything that would resemble market manipulation, like clearing out the stops that are sitting there? Happens to retail all day, every day in all markets, right? You see it over and over again, right? So that's why you would. This is why who's selling here? Because somebody sold right there. Who's selling there? It's not a professional. It's not, not what I'd like to think. Not anyone who's ever seen a video of mine or studied any of David Halsey's work, right? Because he's the one who released this to the world. Not me. I teach it, right? He discovered it. So here, okay. So you might look there and say, oh, I can see, oh, a little, little liquidity grab right there. That makes sense. Yeah, after the fact. Okay, well, what else could we use? Well, how about something just rudimentary? Well, okay. So let me introduce you what I've got down here. So this is this is a, a Bollinger Band percent B. So it's just a it's a it's a convenient way to get a visual representation for when we get outside of the Bollinger Bands or two standard deviations or however you set it, right? So this this can be a little bit annoying on your chart, right? Which is why I like this. Now I, I leave it on the chart because there are times when I want to come back to this and I want to see it. I literally want to see visually. Oh, okay, Cons consolidation, right? Contraction, expansion, expansion. Contraction, expansion, right? So sometimes, here, I mean, it's just sometimes, I just like to see it. Like, oh, okay, I get what's happening here. Whew, look at this, contraction, squeeze. But, okay, so let me get ahead of myself. So we have a couple of things here. Oh, let's go into this. It's called the percent B RSI and stochastic. I just take the stochastics off because I think it's redundant. And it's a little squirrely. So I'm just using 21. So this is, okay, the only difference, I use a 21. Call me a... <laughs> Uh, well, it's a fib number, right? So I, I just prefer, I go to the 21, call me superstitious. So I go to 21. I, I could, you know, if I want that, which actually is kind of silly because if I was going to say, oh, fib numbers only, I'd go to a 13 here, but I'm just so used to the 14. And f the fuck, it doesn't matter, right? 20, 14, 21, 13, not going to make much difference. This is what I use. I leave the stochastics off, right? I just don't think it's, I, I don't I don't need it. Okay, right? So this, you know, again, do you, do you want the stochastics? Okay, well, there, right, again, I, I, I don't. So what, what is it we're seeing here? Okay, so when I, when I look down here, I'll get my crosshairs. Ah, come here. Okay, so when I'm right here, now look below here. So this is where I get the extreme move. See, yeah, let's get in there so you can see it. And yeah, let's get rid of you. All right, just, just trying to help you guys find a little more opportunity here. So we come way down here. So he, here's the move outside of two. This is, I've got two, two and a half. Right, standard deviations from, from the center. So the idea is, okay, if I'm gonna come down this hard, the Bollinger Bands are kind of setting us up. It's almost like the, 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 the rubber band, if you will, getting stretched for the snapback, right? That's the reversion to the mean, which is not a 100%, but it, it, again, you're trying to stack as, the odds as best you can, right? So if I'm gonna come down that hard, now I'm into 
two standard deviations from my 21 period center line. I've just come out of, right? So we can get, let's see if we can put it all together. So there's the contraction. Here's the squeeze, right? Red dots meaning squeeze. Then here's from that contraction, expansion. So as we come down into this expansion, well, we're right into the where we're looking for it. Now, what do I see down here? Right now, again, a little bit after the fact, I get it, right? So I get, I, uh, the RSI is not coming down as hard, right? So I get a new price low here, but the RSI get divergence. So, it, I mean, it's very possible you took the first one. Very possible you looked here like, holy fuck, look at that, right? I've come out of the squeeze. I'm, way, I'm outside of two, two standard deviations here. Well, if you got stopped out there, Okay, stop placement. It's mighty tight, mighty tight. What Jesus? What are you? What are you risking there? From six sixty six to thirteen. Okay, well that's that's a mighty tight stop in Bitcoin. But okay, maybe you got stopped out. Now the trick to that, if you did, you got to be willing to go again. That actually maybe I can't tell. Hmm. Uh, Close, right? Mighty close, right? Just wick. So you, you got to be able to go again, right? If you see, oh, we're starting to go here. You, you can't go, no, okay, well, I took this. I lost 50 bucks here. Oh, no, I'll just let it go. No, right? You got to be prepared to go again. If the setup is still valid, you got to be willing to go again. So even if you took this, it can't be like, well, I'm going home to cry. Oh, okay, well, how long did that take, right? Four, five, six, seven hours. And oh, that's even better because I got divergence. I know I'm not in the squeeze. I've tagged where the algo is active. I get a second little tap here. Maybe I'm going to go. I mean, at some point, you got to just, you got to accept some risk. You got you to take the trade. Not, not, you don't want to be, you know, just a cowboy about it, right? Like, oh, giddy up, let's go, right? You, you want to be strategic here and you want to be strategic about stop placement. But, you know, that probably, a, you know, maybe too tight for something like Bitcoin, right? So it's up to the individual, your risk tolerance here. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying, think about, okay, if you got wicked out there and you see that come back up here, and we're still, what, what clues would you have here? Well, RSI is on the rise. I'm out of a squeeze. So now I'm into a little bit more expansion. I get a secondary little, that's a Keltner squeeze when it goes to the black. I should, I'm all over the place here. So I should highlight here. So I've, this is, a, this is a, and these are all free. These are all free indicators. This is the TTM Squeeze Pro, which gives me both a, a full squeeze as well as a Keltner squeeze. You know, it's, again, it's just a potential. You can see here when we go into these black dots here. Well, I don't have a true squeeze, as in Keltner and Bollinger are inside, Bollinger inside Keltner. We don't, I don't have that as a true squeeze, but I've got reduction in volatility. So the Keltner is, is contracting. Here I get a true squeeze. Here I get both of them. So, you, you know, it's... Well, I should note here, I've got a true TTM squeeze down at the below, right? So down below. So when I get this red here, now I've got a true Bollinger and and uh, and Keltner. Then I've got another one here in red. So if you weren't sure about that or you wanted to double check or you didn't want this on the on the chart here, this is a nice way to do it. Right? I, all, I should note here, I'm, a, I'm making the momentum histogram. Here, let me show you. I'm I'm just turning it off, right? I'm, I'm turning that off because I don't I don't want that. I don't want that to influence me. I don't need it, right? I've got this for momentum. That's all that is, right? It's just be redundant. So I, what I want to see, I don't always want the Bollinger Bands on the chart because it's you know it's, it's kind of in in the way, you know, what you're marking up on the chart. But here I don't I don't need it, right? Oh, okay. Here here look. Oh, I'm hitting target here. Oh, what do I have here? A little divergence here. Maybe it's time to take some profit. And not necessarily short it. But if I'm in the long here and I've just hit target here and I'm thinking, oh shit, maybe I'll get second target here. You start to roll over again, maybe not. Maybe, maybe it's time to, or if you got a trailing stop, you know, let it take you out of the market and reload. All right, let's just work through this here. Just real, real quickly here, I don't wanna get lost here. I just wanna show you that, okay, so yeah, crypto's, Crypto is going to likely go sideways for a while, but can we still trade this way? Are there people still trading in here? Well, yeah, there sure are. Well, here, so this was one here. Nice, nice little setup here. What? Okay, swing, retrade, up. Right, remember, we trade these. God, I got to get that off because I talk with my hands. I know that's annoying. You trade these until they fail. There's 50 of the tick here. I've done this so we don't have a mess of charts. 
Okay, so let's just here. Let's do. No, maybe I'll do it this way. Get it right there. Okay, now let's use our crosshair and go right down below. Okay, so what do I see here? All right, I'm, it's it's. I'm, the point is here is not that you're going to get the tick low to the tick high, right, or to the target high. It's that if that sets up there, don't be afraid to take it. So here, what do we get here? Higher low. Now look at the chop here, right? So it, with the Bollinger Bands we are being breached easily, right? As we go through this chop down here on a two hour. But that doesn't mean don't don't take the trade. We get down here, oh shit, if it gets up here, well, I better get out. Did you make target there? Don't You don't want to panic up here. And I, you, you can understandably look at that and say, oh God, look, what are we, fuck, what is that, head and shoulders? You, you can see how that might panic you out, but wait a second now. Remember, these trade in... These are sequences, right? That's how the algo works, right? You trade them till they fail. Now, let me tighten that up here. Okay, 50 to the tick. Now, here, do I have anything? Well, that looks like it's too deep. So I wouldn't be, nah, I wouldn't be adding here. Mm. It's like it's all wick, right? It is not a single, well, it's right on the 65, right? So that would have been, that would have been sketchy, right? But maybe, ah, come here. Let's look below. This is not, I mean, there, there's, there have got to be, I'm guessing here, 100,000 at least, easy, probably more than that, 100,000 videos on YouTube teach you how to do this exact same thing, right? There's, there's not rocket science here. And there are many, many, many other, other people. Well, there are, there are now. It used to be only a handful of us, but now there are many that teach this, right? Myself, oh, shit. Um, Tim and E-mini, I can't remember all of them, but there, there used to be four or five of us. Now many, many, many teach it, or they, they teach it, they just they do it differently. They don't call it a golden zone. They call it, oh, it's a golden channel, or it's a golden whatever, right? So it doesn't matter, right? It's, I, don't, I don't care about that. My point is, I, what's the point of all this? To try and help you make better trades. That, that's all we're after here. It's not, oh, look, I was right about the Elliott count. Fuck that. What's the point here? To be profitable. If this can help you be profitable, I mean, this has helped me. So when you're in here and you're at that decision point, you can't be afraid of it. But but you also, again, you don't want to be a Yahoo in here and like, well, I got to trade, 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 trade. Get yourself in trouble. So at least have some semblance of a consistent approach. Okay, well, I look for a golden zone. I put my stop on the other side of the 707. I try and tie it to an RSI and being below... 30 or 25 or whatever you prefer to use and I'd like to see the bull I'd like to see the market push beyond or touch the Bollinger Bands okay are all of those conditions met here are they yeah they are okay so let's okay let's assume you're not gonna get the tick high well there's I mean just we're just coming up to here I'll just use second target here okay well there's 3.7 to 1. Now, would you have known, right? Would you have known that, that you were coming into a full five? No. But, okay, one, two, three, four here. You, could you have gone again? Well, you know, or maybe you left a runner. Maybe you left a runner. Get rid of that one. Oops, actually, that was the bigger one. Let's bring you back here. Let's get rid of this one. All right, so you wouldn't want to ignore this one necessarily. Hey, I got second target here. Excuse me. One target, second target. Okay. Let's get rid of it. How about here? Who, so right now, as we sit here, let me get that off. Who's got the advantage here? What's the last thing that happened here? Well, just using this again, let's try and keep it simple. What's the last thing that happened here? Right, so I see I went well outside of the two standard deviations. I've got a low here. Oh, I'd, I'd probably want to see where I might break crank out anchored VWAP just to see where we are. All right, so we're flatlining, right? So at, at VWAP, right off of this pivot. Let's get you guys up here. Anything? This is the last thing that happened. Well, th I can just look at it here and see it's going to be too deep here, right? So if there, if you were trading here, right, you got stopped out, right? It's not the end of the world, right? So you had it here, stopped out here, right? Didn't get to target, right? That, that's going to happen. Get used to it. 
right? Remember you trade them till they fail. So if we look here, since we have a failure here, I go here. It's enough, right? It's enough of a break. So you, right now you would you would defer to the bears in terms of who has the advantage here. But remember, this is happening on multiple time frames. So if this is the if this is an A wave, right? So if the assumption if if the Elliott count is is accurate, right, remains to be seen. But if this coming down here, probably easier to identify this as a five than a three. So if that's a five and you're looking for a three here. Well, okay, we've been through this a couple of times, so this is too deep. But if it's A, B, C, it's not too deep for a B. One, two, three, four, looks like you got a, a, maybe a one here. We're looking for the B up here. Why are we looking for the B up here? Right? Why? Right? That's why. What have I got along the way? Well, it looks like I got to start on a maybe a one wave here. If this is A, B, and I'm looking for the C to give me a B, now nothing says we can't go higher. Shit, I could go beyond the, the pivot. Well, pardon me, I could. Well, let's just tar target right here. Let's just keep it simple. I'm starting to complicate. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe, maybe we do go beyond that. If we, if we label this out, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe that's where I'm, where I'm headed. Maybe I'm going 707 or I'm going platinum. Oh, I just like saying we're going platinum. Okay, right. So maybe we're going up here for a B, right? Perfectly, perfectly good Elliot, right? Put a B up here. In fact, right, remember a B is on, off like a two is a push to break the pivot. If they can't get there, down comes the C. Or in this case, if that's the B, then it would be the C trying to complete the five, the A, B, C of the fifth. Remember, target's down here at 14. So is this what we get? No. Question mark. Remains to be seen. Right now, just flatlining, but back to where I was going there. Can we trade that? If this is a one and that's a, a candidate for a two, one, two, three, four, five, if that's a candidate, well, where, where am I looking for that? Front run? Maybe. Would you take that trade? Well, you know, you got the condition here. You got outside of the Bollinger Band. Ideally, you want both of them, right? So do you see how the, the RSI, which is in red here, doesn't go nearly as far down here. So this is a little volatility spike, but it doesn't take price with it. It's so short-lived, right? It's, because it's a 14-period RSI, it doesn't bring it all the way down. So you might start looking here and saying, okay, is that, is it here? Do I have a, am I, is it working with a secondary pivot? Well, now you get into a little bit of guesstimation here because you're trying to identify what did it use last? Right. Well, we'll use this, right? So there's one, right? We can look at that. Did it use that? Actually, I'm used to doing it that way. Did it use that? Nope. Did it use, well, let's get it right on there. Did it use it? Yeah, used it. Okay. Well, let's let's just keep going. All right. There's the the last pivot. We know it used this. Break. All right. So clearly, that's a break. We're going 707 there. So, but we're, we're trying to put the whole piece together here, bring in a little Elliot. Okay, maybe, maybe I got, shit, is that a diag? Yeah, so it would be, it would have to be a, oh, fuck it, I don't know that matters, right? So we, we'd have a diag going into that one. Let's put it up there, I'll get you in white. Okay, maybe, maybe, oh, fuck, what do we got? I, it, just do it as a, just a straight diag. I don't know how much that matters. A, B, C into a two. Okay, W, X, Y, maybe it's a two. Coming back into all this. Okay, well, let's, let's just using a, a couple of pivots. So from the two to the three, okay. Maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, well, are you late to the party there? Perhaps. Now, that could, that could go again. You could, you could have a little roll kickback here, and maybe you get another one here. Would I chase that? I don't know that I would on a Friday. Mm, here's what I want here. If you took it right there, is that is that good enough? See, I think not. I think you're you're you've missed this trade. I mean, it's, you know, yeah, I mean, it's, it's less than what, you know. You'd have to get second target here. Okay, maybe you're thinking, okay, I'm going to get a three, so a three is going to be up here. So you might take that trade off of the off of the structure here. Okay, it's a shallow two or it's a front run off of that. So I'll put seven oh seven for the possibility we go W X Y. It seems like that's in here, and we're going to start to go here. So can you buy it right there? Well, before you even think about it, right? So this is this is what happens. Right? Before you even think about it, you got to look. Remember, it's always on the other side as well. So where are we here? 
right? You, you, so that, that's why I say, okay, if you're not here, th this is why you, you want to be a buyer when it's in the pocket here rather than wait for it to start to get some traction because you got to get through this side. So you got to wait for all of that to happen and you don't want to buy it here. That's the absolute last place you want to buy it. The last breakout, right? Just We've been through that enough times. Now, if we start to retrace, okay, maybe you get another, another shot at it here, but you're kind of late to the party here. So thus, all the more, why when, if, if, if you were going to take that trade, you want to try and get it on the retrace, right? I'm a retracement trader, so I'm always looking to buy the retrace. And that doesn't mean I sit here and just buy it blindly. I want to see a reaction. But if that starts to go, well, if it's going to go to a three, I got to have a one, two here. So maybe I'm down to a 30 minute thinking, oh, okay. All right, A, B, C, fuck, that, or double, that could be. That could that could be W X Y as it is. I again, I don't know that it matters. That's not a great looking. Actually, it looks like A B C W X. Oh, that's a little skinny for a Y. Well, it might be that this one you don't you don't love enough. I mean, you got pretty pretty clear area of resistance up here. This little pocket here, which it's about to deal with here, which makes you think, oh, okay. Well, wait a second. Maybe, maybe that when I'm running up, oh, I did not know that was there. All right, so, you know, you're just drawing that here. Well, well, right, is that likely to be the resistance here if I get that right on that pivot? Is, I mean, it's literally on top of the 618. All right, is that, is that potentially what we're going to about to run into? Well, you don't want to buy it right there, do you? Now, I say that, now I don't, that could go a thousand points for all I know, but that would be, Let's just say that would be a higher risk location to enter, assuming you're going to, you don't ever want to assume these are going to break, right? In fact, you do the opposite. You want to assume it's going to hold, right? Or you'll buy right into it. Okay, so let me, I'm trying to, geez, so much for a short video. Okay, just trying to make the point here that just because crypto is kind of out of fashion at the moment, there's pl still plenty of trading in here. Okay, so I kind of done Bitcoin to death here. Well, wait a second, man. I, Bitcoin, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not, I, I like to trade ETH. Okay, well, let's go over to ETH. What do I got over here? So here, let's do it in the futures on ETH here. Let's get rid of this. Same difference, right? The exact same thing happening over here. Let's get some of this stuff off. It's not that hard to identify this. Now, I know, because I get this comment a lot. Hindsight, man, hindsight. Well, if I don't show you the history, how will you know the next time? Right, so kind of the same thing here. So here's November 20th, and people are like, oh, fuck, crypto's dead. Blah, 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 you know, man, fuck, you know, nothing going on. Happy New Year. Yeah, great, right, for a crypto trader. Well, slow down, right? It's the exact same thing you're going to see over here. Now, I'm, I'm over on BitGet, right? It's our sponsor, right? So because I particularly like them for futures trading. So let's just go to the perpetual, right, and trade futures. Maybe you want to trade a little risk. Pardon me, I should say a little leverage. Right. Wouldn't you have likely the same shit over here? Same things, right? So if we come down here, same setup. Now, the one thing I added here, this is an ADX. Again, old indicator. Been around, right? This is just math, right? So are we trending or not? Just because it was around 30 years ago doesn't mean it's not still a good indicator. Just because Bollinger Bands, well, Park, how long have those been around? 30 years? That My grandfather was trading that. But yeah, because it's, it's a good indicator. right? Just because the squeeze has been around since John Carter you know, launched that and discovered that and made that. Oh, that's one of the great contributions to TA ever. The squeeze. My God, right? And then the ADX. Okay, so we got a little trend here. So these are things just to check. For like, oh, okay. Well, if I was thinking about being a buyer here, am I trending? Well, that's just the 20. Right? It's a 20. It's over. Tw Some people use 25, right? I use, I use 20. If we're, if we're over 20, likely we're trending. And I'm just, here's just to double check. Okay, I want to see the true squeeze. You know, I, I put that on more for anyone who's new to this. I can get a true squeeze here. And then the TTM Pro, you got multiple squeezes here. It's up to you whether or not you want to use those. But this is kind of a nice reference. So, I, okay, I got a true squeeze here. True squeeze, true squeeze. I think, I think they call that true squeeze. Okay, great. Okay, right. Now, okay, that's exciting. But can I make money over here? Well, okay, same situation over here. Wouldn't it be exactly the same? Got a nice base here. I got a nice range up here. Okay, here's the range I'm in now. So can I make any money here? So if I'm at the low end of the edge range going to the top end of the range, what do you think I'm going to find in there? 
You think the algo is going to participate in there? Nah, it wouldn't. Not in Ethereum. I mean, I know, right? Hindsight. Oh, 707. That's 3.75 to 1. Assuming, right, you just go into first target. Well, because you don't know. One, two, A, B, C. Who, who knows, right? I mean, did you have any way to know that we we're going to get to second target? Mm. Probably you know, people are going to bail here, right? Or, get, or their runner is going to be taken out. So here's the first one. So that, that's why if you're taking this kind of trade, you want to bank something at first target. If you're, if you're thinking, oh, I think I'm going to get third, well, bank something at one because you don't know. Nobody knows. Don't let anyone tell you they know where the market's going. So, okay, would there have been something here? Oh, squeeze. Right, we get outside of two standard deviations. RSI, we're not getting there, right? The RSI starts to go. Hindsight trade? Maybe. Maybe. Was there enough here? Could, can I combine things here? Also order block right here. All right, wick only. Change of character. Oh, God, do I have them on here? Yeah, I do. Right, but I'm in focus mode here, so we'll just draw them ourselves. Okay, so here, right to the 50, order block, straight to target. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, yeah, but I can't see the Elliott count. I don't know where it's going to be on the daily. I don't know where, where to project it's going to be in June. Oh, do, oh, do, we, do we care right here? Do we care? Do we care there? Or is that just another trade? Just another trade. Oh, okay. Well, so maybe I can put some things together here. One, two, or A, B. Oh, looks like something's coming down here. Wonder if it's going to be there on the sell side. Oh, let's go here. Actually, I think it's going to be right here. There we go. Here, let's try to bring this over here. Oh, let's get the... Let me get the extension off here. So it's showing me. Okay, so you can see it here. All right, so here's the, I know, I know, hindsight, I'm just trying to put it in your brain, right? So the next time you see it, you don't go, you know, I remember that guy showing me that thing. You're like, yeah. Anything here? Mm, RSI at 50. You know, that might be, maybe you don't take that one. Trend is up. Your note here, below 20, so we're not trending anymore, right? So if I bring this up. We've gone below 20. So that uptrend has faded now, but we're not far enough down to where we have a downtrend until we get here. Now, our, the, the ADX is always, only goes one direction, right? So if it's above 20, it's trending whether the market's going down or not. It's not directional, it's trend strength. The other two, the DMI, those are directional here, but what we're looking for, are we trending here? Are we trending? Yeah, we're trending. So maybe you don't take that trade. It was there. Right, you don't have to be on both sides. How about that one? That looks like it might be might be too deep. Wicks only. Maybe you took the golden zone here. Well, okay, let's just assume you took that. Maybe you took this here and your stops on the other side of the seven oh seven. You got stopped out. Okay, slow down. That's the four hour. Let me go to a two. Just okay. Oh shit, man! I took one of those trades and it was a loser. Well, I'm never doing that again. You're in the wrong business, my friend, if that's your thinking. Okay, so, oh, stopped out. Shit, that stuff doesn't work. That guy, he doesn't know what he's talking about. That doesn't work. All right, can you take the next one? If you get stopped out, right, is there any reason to not think? Or, oh, well, we're not gonna, it's not going to go. Well, you know, of course, here you don't know that, right? You're just in chop, but anything down here to help you? Right here, well, again, maybe right. So I mean, you'd have to, you got to work with the RSI to know its characteristics, right? But the 50, I would tell you, is as important, if not more important, than what happens at 70 and 30. The 50 is important, right? Because when we get over 52, then we're trending. So if you're here, you're trying to get the turn, but what you want to see is the push over 52 or under 48, because then we're in a downtrend. And you'll see that will be consistent with these, although this is going to be on a different degree. When, when, we, when we don't get back over, right, downtrend, right? We're, we're trending down here. Here I've got divergence. Again, you know, I know it's easy in hindsight, right? Divergence. Look for it. Train your eye to see it. You, you've got to be able to spot it quickly. Oh, shit. All right. Get out of here. The 
the point here is that while crypto could be in a deep funk for a while, for a while, do you see how many times we hit that golden zone? Do you, see, so, do you think maybe we have some support there? Maybe, maybe we got some support there. One, two, three times we hit a golden zone. All right. I mean, th these are trades you might. Okay. Well, let's just let's go. There's a let's go to a thirty minute. Okay. All right. So, can we still make money here? Again, this is about as rudimentary as it gets. These are just fib pulls. Boom, boom, second, first, second. We go fourth target here. Can we make money here? Well, crypto's got to be, got to be rolling. That's directly. That's that's a tick to tick. That's swing, golden zone, third target to the tick. I can't make money in crypto. It's not trending. No, it's not trending. You're absolutely right. But a bit, a bit soon to be saying I cannot, cannot find anything to trade. It's just there's nothing to trade. It's just not trading like it used to. I mean, don't don't miss a little market geometry just to continue to combine methods. All right, I have eighty percent probability of getting there. All right, swing. Okay, could, could would we want to add to that? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe some. Oh, fuck. Oh, three, four, five, something, something along those lines. Oh, like, hey, well, let's not throw the Elliot out the window. Oh, I got, I got an ABC that comes in there. Maybe that's a, that's a nice little setup there. Oh, I'm at the 50. Oh, let's down, let's look. Oh, come here. All right, I'm at the 50. Let's see if I can match them up. Okay, don't. You don't have to fucking mortgage the house here, All right? Well, maybe use 707, right? What, what, so if you start here, right, giving it more room, so you're going for four to one, once it gets there, well, I mean, if your choice as to whether you want to go break even, but I, you know, give it a little little wiggle here. Why, why would you do that, right? Because fail, if it rolls over here, remember failure to make the median line, trading principle number four that we teach in our belt system, it suggests a move equal to or greater than the swing that failed to get there, right? So that would suggest coming back down to the golden zone. So if we're gonna, if we don't do this, that's what you're expecting. We got to get the median line for that eight. Well, one, it realizes the eighty percent. So are, is it time to be taking this trade right now? Well, of course not. That's the worst possible place to enter the market at a prior pivot, right? The the worst. I think I've drilled that point home for anyone who's still watching. Okay, so coming out of that pretty impulsively, I mean, that's today, right here we are on a 30 minute, so ETH, ETH liked the news a little bit better. How am I doing on time? Shit, 42. Oh, I probably stopped there. Okay, I was gonna do the ES, but I'll save that for next week. Just because crypto's flatlining on a daily doesn't mean we can't trade down here. Doesn't mean you can't trade this kind of stuff. All right, you, you here, this, no, oh, where'd it go? This is the S&P, right? So we have all this volatility, all this volatility here. Let's pull back out for a second. Oh. All right, this is a tricky count, right? So all of this chop, right? This is Fed. What are we doing with the Fed? What are we doing with the Fed? What are we doing with the Fed, right? So for, for two weeks, just nothing but chop range, right? Now you go down to a 15 minutes, like, oh my God, look at the swings. Oh my God, these swings are incredible. Unreal swings we're having. Really? I mean, that, you know, there's your 15 minute. Got a nice sense of trend there, All right? Tradable. Well, how would you approach trading that, right? What, it's just a big range. So what? What you're, if you kind of dial it in, All right? Get outside the range. Now let's see if I got them here. Yeah, I do. Buy, sell, buy, buy. I mean, here I have to do it this way. Now we're now we're on a fifteen minute. Oh shit! Where I start? Buy, right? I mean, the, now this is a little tricky. I'd probably do this with options, right? So if, if I'm getting this buy here, well shit! Look here, I'm on a fifteen minute, right? Which is we, this is where 
institutions, right? This is their day trading inst institutions as well, other than what, what's going on with, their, with, their, with, with algorithms, right? For the bigger dogs here, they're on the 15 minute. This is like you and me looking at the one minute. So they're, okay, bye, right? I, I do that with an option, right? So, I don't, so I'm not worried about getting stopped out before it gets there. Uh, up at the top, right? Sell, buy, right? Oh, so let's assume you got a loser there. Buy, pretty, pretty nice winner there. Sell, pretty good. Sell, pretty good. Don't have another. I mean, some of these, right? The what, the reason it triggers is because we get an RSI and the Bollinger Band. That's why you get the buy sell. These are all, all out here, right? Nothing, right? We don't get both of them. Now we might get one right here. Pretty pretty good rip, but is it really? Is it really? What what's the count there? What's the count there? You know who has a, a really good accurate count there? Nobody. Nobody does. Could you count it? Well, fuck, you can take a swing at it. You could probably, you could put some letters and numbers on it, but are you going to have a lot of confidence in what you got there? Absolutely not. Oh, fuck. Are you, oh, Jesus, can you even, you might be able to get a triangle in there. Just out of, maybe you got a triangle. Yeah, you probably do. Although the B and the D, you know, if you're a purist, you're not going to like that. So, okay, maybe, 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 maybe you got, so, but really it's just trendless. It's like, what is the Fed going to do? What is the Fed going to do here? So this is short-term trading. Very good. But what's the, what's the long-term count here, right? On the, on the stock market. Well, we, if we go out to an eight hour here, this, what makes this tricky is you could count this as a five, but either way you end up with, you end up with a bearish count, right? So if you, let, let's, uh, God, I know I gotta stop doing that. So one thought is, okay, it's A, B, C into a W, X, and now A, this is the B, and now we're in the middle of that slop here because we're trying to get down to a C, right? That, that would be a good clean count coming back to the, the, the COVID low. But you could count this other ways, right? But you could you could also count this as a you can do it as a five three five three five diag, right? You can get a five in there, right? So if you so let's say you you took it as an A, right? R rather than W X A B C, but you took this whole thing down as an A wave, right? We're just going to allow for the overlaps via diag, right? So we get a diag into an A. Well, this is still corrective, whether it's it, it's a W X A or A. B, right, the, the, imp the implication per the Elliott, right, well, for what that's worth, right, the implication per the count as, well, let me rephrase that. The implication per the Elliott as currently labeled would suggest that there's another push down. Whether it's W, right, this, no matter how you slice that, this is the corrective wave. Now, of course, nothing says that we couldn't do it. We couldn't go, he probably, fuck, how did you do that? Ooh, that's going to be a tough one to get that this to be a completed correction here. I'm going to come back to that if I need to. The 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 thinking here being that oh well this is if it, if it's A B we got to come down for the C and if it's A B we got to come down for the C. All right, so I've been positioned here in my in my uh, option trading here. Right? Members know we're doing more option trading now with crypto being quiet. Uh, I'm I'm positioned short, so I'm taking it in the short. <laughs> in the shorts today, right? So my positions are underwater today, but I'm, you know, with options, right? It's always a matter of fighting the clock, right? So I'm, I'm positioned to be short for this move to come. Oh, fuck. For that move to come, right? But you gotta, you know, you're always fighting the clock with options if you're directionally based, right? So that remains to be seen if we get out of here with this being, okay, some good news. Now we got CPI next week and all the, you know, it all starts all over again. But really the, the, the pat we would look at it this way lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high now until that changes and i get a higher high path of least resistance remains down despite the big numbers today right i mean it's it's encouraging right i know a lot of people are happy about that but you know you kind of put this thing you kind of draw it over here is there really a lot to be celebrating here we're kind of oh shit do i have them up here Let's put some Bollinger Bands on that. Just out of curiosity, there's an eight hour contraction. Well, let's see what I have down here. So, well, here, this will work, right? This has a squeeze bill into it. That's the max momentum. So you see the squeeze in there. So this this whole thing that we've been in here, I was just drawing, 
just been a giant squeeze. Now, today's the first day that we're popping outside of two standard, devi st uh, standard deviations. That's two and a half standard deviations. We're, we popped outside of that today. Boom. So if you're a reversion to the mean trader, what, what is your thought? Oh, well, unless, unless we're going to start, oh, let's go down to a four hour, a really substantial trend here, which maybe we have. Maybe we have started. This is the, well, if this is a triangle, E, oh, fuck, what are we going to do here? A, B, going up for the C. We can put a we can put a B here if we're going to allow that as a triangle. Okay, pretty good rip here. Okay, we're not the RSI is not there on a four hour. RSI is not over seventy yet. So here, always with an RSI, you want to have a you always want to have a fifty. Some of these guys they don't have it in there. That's close enough, right? So over fifty two, we're trending. We're coming down this way. So is this is this a big ripping trend? Well, it sure looks like it's. Looking pretty good. Now here I come down to a two hour. Well, RSI is getting a little heavy there. Again, doesn't matter, right? I mean, it could, it could stay down here for extended periods of time, but ultimately, eventually, right? Profit taking. It'll, it'll, it'll be, it'll likely you'll be, you'll get some sort of rollover and it'll let you come back to test the 50, just as you saw. Oh, where's a good example here? Well, here's one rolling over to the sell side. Here's to the, here, just a kind of, close on this point, right? So, oh, we're not going to make, we're going to bounce at the 50, bounce at the 50, down to the target. You can keep it, you, you can try to simplify, I think, a little bit more so. I'm not, trading is never simple. It's never easy, ever. Never is it easy, right? Anyone who tells you it's easy, just just because I'm here doing this, I'm not saying that it's easy. I'm just showing you that there, there is opportunity. There's opportunity. If you're looking for it. There's one right here as well. You got, you got to know what you're looking for. Okay, well, what's what's the most rudimentary thing that we teach? Right there. I should have wrong one. Right there. You see that? It's tick to tick. Right, here's the pivot. Oh, shit. Get you right on there. All right, we'll finish here. Oh, God, if I can actually get that fucking thing. No. Not hard, right? Here's the... Didn't didn't cross the fifty. Oh, we're going down. What what did we do when we got here? Right. Oh, oh we're at two and a half times. Two and a half. Um, we're at a two point five standard deviations from the center line, which is a twenty one EMA. I think. Oh shit. Maybe an SMA. It doesn't matter. Right. We're, we're here. Oh 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 oh. Maybe it's gonna kick back. Now the here. Right, this is good. good. Okay. I'll finish. Jeez, I'm trying to get out of here and finish and show you this. Okay, so if we if when we when we kick back the other direction, how how do you know which side to be on, right? So if it's if it's here, well now we're we've broken here. We've broken the sell side. So you'd give advantage bears. Now you may break break in this kind of chop. You may have broken on both sides. Yeah, it looks like you did, All right? So at this degree, you're breaking on both sides, which means higher time frame, right? So we'd have to go even beyond this to look for where's the swing. Looks like you got one here. Some of these are going to hit. Some of them are going to miss. All right? There's one that hits, right there. But as it sits right now, we don't, we haven't really had anything because we've just been in this giant sideways range. So right now, so what would the next thought, right? For those of you that are S and P traders, okay, likely now it's hard for the market to just sustain those kind of movements. So likely at some point there'll be. And what's the other variable in here? Things that we know, right? Retail uh, institutions will never, under any circumstances, buy the highs or sell the lows, right? They don't have to. Well, maybe that's too broad. Rarely will they ever buy the highs or sell the lows, right? That may be a little too broad, but they, they don't have to, right? Who moves the market, right? They do, right? We don't, they move the market. So why would they buy it here when they can just do that? Why, right? What, that's what they'll do. It's like today, right? This was really an easy, easy play here because the, the this was the market all, this was last night. Oh, last, coming into it. As we sell off, right now, here's where here. This is this is the bar that the report was released. Knowing knowing that they're not going to sell the lows, that was an easy. You, you almost didn't need to see anything other than the first 15 seconds, right? Which way it was going to go, because they would never sell that. They, they, what, now, if we had started the day up here, I'd have been like, oh, look out, man, it's going right because they would never buy the highs, right? Little thing. I mean, I don't know if that's a little, that's no secret, but that's just welcome to trading, right? They, they can manipulate the market, so they do. It's not illegal. 
Right? They have the horsepower to do it. You and I, we're just trying to stay out of their way, right? And try and tuck in behind them. So when you see some, well, no, I'm not saying you want to trade in, into a, a payroll report, but that was a fairly easy one to spot. Okay, guys, way too long. So much for the short video. Well, you probably all checked out long ago. Here, I'm just rambling to myself. Okay, there you go. Hope that helps and gave you a few things to think about. Don't despair on crypto. Just shorten your time frame. Watch the algo. Keep it simple and, you know, keep a stop on it. Okay, guys, talk to you later.